as we are getting closer to the transition to the lithiums this is the system again one one more time guys um you see my charge controllers and my in, two inverters right there and i still have more in store so let me show you the batteries battery box here and this is the battery box folks and this side here i'm going to be transition to the lithium you can see the tools right there i've been working on trying to get uh, enough arrangement space and all the stuff see the wires how everything is tied up in here a lot of sensors battery temperature sensors um the uh, battery uh, box sensor that's a sensor right here if you want to take a look at it, this little white stuff here is a sensor. You got an outback charge controller, outback inverter. And here you see the two magnums. Yep. The charge controller and the um and the inverter. You don't have to have two of them because the battery um sorry, the inverter um the PT100 can link this uh, temperature sensor so you can able to utilize both um, one sensor at the same time but uh, being said that I have to have the two sensors sometimes it's like a bad weather or something I just um, route the entire panels or if I want to use a one charge controller I can use one charge controller you know if I want to use both of them I can use both of them but I have switches that I can able to flip and it just combined the entire array on a very cloudy day and uh, so that all the panels will be energized at, a, at one charge controller so that's why all my my voltage is not off from each other that means both charge controllers can able to operate on that particular on uh cloudy days i can just able to uh flip a switch from the uh, command center right here the box then that parallel the, the the arrays up there because there is series parallel when they come in just like combining it and putting all the power into one charge controller so that's why i have the pt100 that can take up over 100 amp amp hours 100 amps charge and that's a flex max 80 so there's just a differential of 20 amps there so on a cloudy day, if I want to switch, I can switch over if it's the Outback or maybe uh, the Magnum. It depends how all of them. Um, I've studied them so much. I know which one can able to handle even on a low light. And I can able to um, combine the entire uh, panels into one because it's cloudy, cloudy day. So you're not going over the max of your charge controller. But I have to, you know, switch over when it's like uh, uh, a very good day then both charge controllers operating so i hope I, um this one is clear um i got my big disconnect on the corner right there and these are the batteries folks so um the battery desulfator is still here a lot of people don't believe on it but um i'm not gonna get into it it's still this is the um the you see right there the x02 12 120 to 80 so this one can put up to about support up to about 800 so you see that by a giant fuse over there and um guys i got my that white sensor i was showing you down here the white sensor and that's the one that uh covers for that this one right here it tells the the temperature in the box which uh, the charge controllers know too they have their own sensors here you can see this two sensors here two sensors of the magnum um, sorry the outback and one sensor for the box so I have a total of five sensors in here just to monitor my batteries so folks this is the system my disconnect here from the grid if I wanna charge my batteries or anything I can just flip that thing and it will take me right there the outback is here and folks um, what I'm gonna do I think at this time since I'm doing the transition I might probably 
um, I don't know if I can hold on to those batteries for now. Then I can able to run one battery bank for each uh, inverter or charge controller. So this is the plan. I might probably do that because these batteries are brand new. So the um, these batteries are brand new. So uh, I'm not gonna throw them away, and uh, unless uh, probably someone is interested on those. I can probably sell them. Who knows? I don't know. Someone closer. And uh, then they can go about it. They're just uh, approximately eight months old. Eight months. So, yeah. I've been changing batteries all the time. I didn't just update you guys because testing. I do a lot of testing. I get a lot of stuff. People sending me things to, to test. And sometimes just buy things just to see technological part of it so that I can able to show you guys how everything works and um, you know I bounce back and forth that's just me so these are the batteries right here you see they're all connected it's a giant cables here if you guys can see the royal welding cable these are the 62 62 millimeters see that 62 millimeters is a too hot cable that I use to interconnect my batteries too hot cable so these are all these are all these the uh, this wire you see here the red one is for the uh, battery desulfator these are AGMs they are not sil uh, lead acid they are AGM batteries so we're gonna be transition to these ones here Ta -da -da. there you go that's the that's the transition right here as I'm building up my lithium. And I hope you guys like what I'm doing. Well, anyway, I'm doing this for myself. And I'm sharing with you guys and your comments and all the um, whatever. I, I still, I can, I still appreciate that. You know, doesn't bother me because this is my system and um, this, the way I want it to run and what I want. And that's what I'm installing. So I'm just sharing with you guys to see uh, more batteries of these ones coming You're on the way. And in the future, you guys can see your total kilowatts I already have in this thing. And um, like I said, look at the description below. Then you see the specs of these batteries. And guys, um, I have to get back to work. The day is almost over. And here is the battery box. All right. So it has been... A lot of transition back and forth in my battery box that's why i have i can take about uh, 16 batteries here at first i had so keep on just more efficiency and more power and more um amp hours you know just trying stuff that's why i don't talk much about my batteries because uh, i don't want people to get confused or maybe say okay this is what you have before just like the panels as well i don't do much talking about the panels because I do change panels all the time. You guys see me picking up panels and do this and switching things. All about efficiency for me. As far as I'm concerned, it's everything is about efficiency for me and a new technology. Anything that is new that's really catch my interest or uh, my mind, then I'll get it. And just to play around with it, play around with it and get rid of it. So this is me. This is how I enjoy myself. That's why it's a DIY project. This is a DIY project. This is what I do. Thanks for watching, guys. Love you guys. Subscribe and share. Bye for now. All right, folks. The final, the batteries finally made it to a, to the destination. This is how they look like, and they sit in a stack of two, and um, the other ones get back. Then I can fit two of them up here, and two of them on this corner. And I can stack two more on top of them here to give it the height all the way to the brim right here. So two going to sit on top of this. That's going to be six. And two down here. Okay. That's going to be eight. And two on the other side. That's going to be ten. And one going to be on top, on top. So that's going to be 12 batteries inside this box um, if everything goes well. All right. 
so i'll keep updating you guys as time goes so this side is going to be the lithium side the the battery uh which i can able the time i did this um box with a friend of mine i can chop this one back and probably take this battery stick it back here so all this battery is going to be on one space but it takes only about um seven batteries on those and one is sitting here that's why i want to keep all this one whole compartment here all in lithiums all in lithiums and i wasn't sure what kind of lithiums i'm gonna go with that's why that's why i was gonna go with the chevy volt but they are too big the clunky just like a, a um engine block so it's gonna be really high i want to keep everything decent so i can able to close this box again and i can able to get in and work on anything i want to do so this is how um this is how it looks the batteries finally make it home and um the next thing is just firing up the system connect them and select what system i want uh, i want to uh, i want to run on this uh, application well as of now guys uh, i'm so happy because i'm not in a hurry so but I'll bring you footage on everything I'm doing here as this transition is taking place. And this is what it is. And this is how it's going to be. And this is how the system is going to look like. All right, folks. Thank you so much. I love you guys all. As, all, as, all, as always. <laughs> and uh, um, um, I hope everything I'm working on is uh, going to pay off. And you guys can enjoy the one old scenery above this uh, um, transition. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.